Hello one and all, this is Fair Time, and I thought I'd throw something else out there that I've been thinking about and working on. Uh, I was watching uh, another YouTuber, uh, Sargento Peppermint. I'll put a link to his uh, channel uh, in, my, in the description here. And I was watching him because I was trying to figure out for my Let's Play world uh, my uh, my Spare World 2.0 about some item uh, transport system and he had one set up it was really nice uh, so I was looking at that but somebody brought up a question and I had been thinking about it also uh, about what to do if you had um, more than a cart full of material because standard way that he had originally set up and he's got a new way also but I, this is something different is if the Hopper empties, then the rail gets um, powered, and that will send it off. But if the hopper never empties enough, if there's too much material coming through, then it won't ever get powered. So what happens if you end up filling up that chest and the hopper won't empty? So I was trying to think along some other lines here. Um, first off, we'll test the way that uh, it's supposed to. All right. There's 11 pieces in there. So let's say it was just a small quantity. All right. Nothing in here. Uh, we will send this guy off. We'll go down here. He'll fill up. And then it kicked on back. So small quantities work just fine. All right. But what happens if you have a chest full of material, including what's in the hopper, so that you have too much to fill up a chest. Now let's see here. I'm going to fill this up here. There we go. So a full chest and a full hopper. So it's more than one chest full. All right, so what happens? Well, I did this. This turns, this is the on-off switch. When it goes over here, it turns this on. Here's a chest, which is full of material. I took some material out of it because the timing works out nicely. And what happens is, pardon me, I'm just looking through making sure I'm not missing something. What happens is that when it goes by here, it turns this on and releases this hopper and stops this one. What that does is it takes all the stuff out of the chest, sends it to this dropper, which puts it back up into the system, which circles around and stops on this hopper. And it will stay that way until this switch is thrown again when it comes back. So what it will do is it will keep going. There's a comparator here that says, okay, how much is in here? All right, if there's anything in here, it keeps this torch turned off. Once it's empty, this torch turns on, the, tr the track is powered and sends it back. So basically you can control how long a cart sits here by how much you have in this chest. So if you wanted to keep it for longer, and go here, and now this is full. As you can see, it has switched this. This hopper is now working. This one is now stopped. Over here is the timer or the pulse to keep the, the dropper going to send stuff through here. There they go. They will continue going through there until that chest is empty. As you can see, it's stopping here. Once this fills up, this will fill up, this will fill up, this will fill up. I wanted to make sure I had enough hoppers up here. You could probably do less, but I want to make sure I had enough hoppers up here to take a full amount of what would be in a chest. So they'd stop here. Then when the cart goes back, it will unload while it's unloading the same amount of number of items this should have enough time to filter all these items back into the chest. So it should give enough time to reset by the time that cart comes back. 
All right, so uh, we'll come back here in just a moment once this is done. Okay, we are back. If you look, we're getting close here. One more stack to fill up that. Let's see how much is left over here. Uh, a little over a stack. We might be right at this limit. Remember, you can adjust how much, how long this goes by putting how many stacks in here. So we will see. That's going to be pretty close. Let's put another stack in here just to make sure and adjust it however we need to. And see, now it's a full stack. It's a full, full load. It's still sitting there because this will not go because it still has items in here. It won't go until this guy empties out. Once that empties out, this will send itself, send itself back. There it goes. One full minecart sent back. Meanwhile, the clock will continue to go in order to move all the material through the hoppers and back into the chest. If you look now, the chest is starting to fill up. It will fill back up until the minecart comes back. Now, if that was a full minecart, it should take a long time in order to unload, so that should give it plenty of time for this to reset. All right, and uh, thanks again to Sargento Peppermint. Uh, he sent me a couple emails so saying he'd work on some ideas here if I need some help. And uh, he's got some good ideas over there. Go take a look at his setup, and we will talk to you soon.